I'm at the Silverstone auction at the Silverstone Classic weekend. It's Sunday morning and I'm surrounded by my own cars and motorcycles. And the reason, well, that's a bit of a story. The workshop is going very well, but we're moving on as a business into the premises I always wanted us to be in, uh, a bigger workshop. And I've learned that I'm going to have to spend a lot of money to replace the oven, which isn't up to scratch, to buy us a new preparation booth, new ramps, a lot of stuff. I need, it's going to be about a hundred grand to cover the move, but also it could be a year before the business makes money, I'm learning. And I'm running out of my own family money to put in because I need that for my wife and daughter. So this is our cushion for the business. What you're looking at here is a beautifully equipped workshop and some salaries for the next three months, I hope. What I thought I'd do is talk you through what I've got and what I'm selling. If I cry a little bit, excuse me. This is the Kawasaki Z900, a bike I've always wanted, the best looking Japanese bike I'd say ever made. It was bought, I bought it, but my wife bought it for me for my 40th birthday as a surprise gift. And I adore it. It's, it's got style, it's got presence. I love that it's just, a transverse four. There's nothing particularly fancy about the engine, but that in its day was the mutts nuts, and it'll be a wrench to say goodbye to it. Changing tactic, this is a 1929 Veloset KSS. Little single cylinder, it rides like a little dirt bike. It's a proper punchy little bike. It's been sort of modified both in period and since, so it's a bit of a cafe racer. It's just a very, very pretty bike. I'll miss that one. I'll miss this, it's a Norton but it's a Dominator Street. They only made 50 of them. I bought this one for my 50th. So that's my 40th birthday, that's my 50th birthday, because it's number 50 of 50 ever made. Cracking parallel twins, it's quite an angry bike to ride. I'm aware of the cars over my shoulder. Shall I do some of the cars as well? Over there, Porsche 911. So 1969, 911T. It was born the same month in the same year that I was born. And that, simple as that, is why I've got that car. It's got the 2.2 litre flat six, which they only made for a couple of years. It's a proper fizzy little engine. And I've always had 911s. That's one that was born the same year as me. But it's got to go. And that alone might raise enough to pay for the oven that I need for the workshop. So what do I want? Collection of cars and no business or a business. Uh, moving along. Bentley S2, this old chariot. Neil and Anthony did a lot of the paint on the lower half of the body on that, but it's pretty much unrestored because it's low owners. It's only had three owners from you. Um, and that for me always matters a lot. I love low ownership in a car or a bike because then you've got a better chance of knowing where it's been, what it's done, is it straight? And my wife and daughters adored that one. That, for a Sunday picnic or a, a nip out for a pub lunch is just, Epic and a sweet old thing. I hope somebody enjoys that. This was the first vintage bike I ever owned. 1927 Sunbeam Model 2, the gentleman's racing motorcycle of the year. Uh, believe it or not, this was like the fire blade of its day if you like bikes, and yet you still light the lights with a match. There's a tank of acetylene that sits, uh, which side is it? This side. Just under your, well, crotch, if anything goes wrong with the acetylene. Cracking little thing, no speedo, but I've had this cruising at 55 miles an hour quite happily once you've adjusted the mixture and the ignition. Really sweet little bike and very usable. Not every day, but you know, for classic events and things. Here, Guzzi Le Mans Mark I, the one to have if you're gonna have a Le Mans. This was a poster bike of its era. And I absolutely loved it, it's gutsy. It's got a period fairing on it, which I just love. You can just see, they kind of got the idea, but they're not quite there. It's had quite a lot of mods on it, proper appropriate mods over the years. And I miss that for its character, its gutsiness. Just that V-twin that way. It's a great bike to ride. And then finally over there, 1999 Lotus Esprit 350 Sport. It's chassis number five of only 49 ever made. There is an owner's club but there's only ever 49 people in it, max, because there's only ever 49 cars built. It was the ultimate expression of the Esprit, if you ask me, that flat plane crank, V8 twin turbo at the back. Just an epic car in utterly beautiful condition. I love all of them. They're gonna go, somebody else will love them, um, and I'm happy because they're gonna go, and what I'll be replacing them with is a means of restoring cars. So in a way, selling this lot, I'm just transforming my passion for classic cars and bikes into a different form. Rather than the actual cars and bikes, I'm transforming it into the means of perpetuating and restoring those cars and bikes for the future. That's what I'm telling myself. 
All I'm going to do now is watch them go through the auction. If they do well, then they'll pay for all the kit I need and buy us the time we need to keep the workshop running. If they don't do so well, I won't want to talk to you. It's as simple as that. Wish me luck. It's weird, isn't it? I come to racetracks all the time, but usually to do something I'm nervous about because I might crash. Today I'm nervous for a different reason. Look your best. Just look smart. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to Silverstone Auctions. We're straight in, lot 590, 12,000 bid, then 15 in another place if you like it. 12 and a 12 in two places, 15, 12 and a half, 13. Selling then. Esprit Sport 350. 35 and 35 and 35 bid. Selling in the room at 58,000 pounds. Are we done? Sold then. Here then, sold it away. Third and final here, all done. Well, the deed is done. I have betrayed my beloved treasured possessions and cast them aside for money. Uh, it didn't go badly. None of them really ran away. Uh, the Porsche did okay, solid. The Lotus did well. Disappointed in the two vintage bikes, the KSS and the Sunbeam. I, I wouldn't by choice have let those go for that, definitely. But the overall bundle of vehicles, what they've done, their noble sacrifice has raised enough for me to go shopping tomorrow. So it's, it's beautiful, really. Friday, I went and looked for what I need, went shopping. Saturday, I then worked out how I'd lay out in the workshop. Today's Sunday, I sold the cars. Tomorrow, I can buy what I need. And they've raised more than enough for me to equip that workshop so I can turn out anything that will be more than the equal of anything out there. I'm now going to go and become hideously drunk whilst weeping softly about all the empty bays in my garage. It's horrible. Oh, it just feels... Look, I wouldn't say this if you've been watching the TV show about this, and I've been very stoic and brave. Because, you know, for a broader bunch of people, I wouldn't expect them to appreciate what it means. I've got lots of cars, so I've sold some, I've got lots left. But you know where my heart is. You know that each one of those was something that I was connected with. The Sunbeam was the first ever vintage vehicle I owned. The Z900 was my 40th birthday present. The Norton, my 50th. They were all really important to me, but I'll live with them. And actually, it's not just a line for telly, it's true. I am indulging my passion for classic cars and bikes, but in a different way. In that instance, not by owning the classic cars and bikes themselves, but by owning the means, the wherewithal, the machinery to restore others to a beautiful state. So it's just as exciting. And I will be every bit as thrilled the first day I open the door to that workshop and there's all that fabulous array of top flight, top end kit to do good work with. It'll all have been worth it. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it even remotely interesting and want to see everything else that went on around it, you can do that on my TV show on Discovery Plus. And you can do that by following the link below. Go there. And now, the bar. I mean, that's literally it, the bar.